Okay. New game. Hopefully the yeah, audio is fine. All right, let's do it. Let's begin the Blackwell Epiphany. Last game in the series. Here we go. Your teeth are chattering. No, they're not. It's him. Detective Durkin, I'm here. Are you on your way? Yeah, sorry about that. I've got a lot of paperwork piled up. I won't be able to make it. What? I've been waiting here a half hour. You there? Good. Take a look around and let me know if you find anything. Take a look around? For what? You know the deal. I can't tell you. Uh, yeah, I know. We'll pay you the usual rate. Talk to you soon. He stood you up again? Yep. Well, he's paying us to check out this dump, so let's get started. Holy moly, look at this. Look at this. By the way, Rosa, in, in the all black situation here in the earmuffs, I like the change of tone, you know what I mean? got a purpose i like it look at this background sorry i'm just gonna like just just take a second here the snow effects are really really cool um look how shiny the street is the cars coming around in the back i do the sound i love that this is really really cool yeah joey does look a little bit more like three-dimensional in this one right i agree with that good eye oh, look at the walking animation we got a diagonal now is there a diagonal motion Yes, we got straight down. We've got cardinal directions as expected, but look at this. We have a diagonal now. It's very cool. Crossover to being a pro. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, you can see it kind of happening. I'm pretty sure um, and keep me honest, uh, watch die uh, fans that like there. I think deception and maybe maybe convergence as well were were redone a little bit right like weren't some of those kind of updated i think to make them look a little bit different i think i remember hearing that um but you can kind of see it's like the culmination of the journey right okay we're checking something out dirky and dirky dirky durkin um has stood us up but we're on we're on on the I don't know. We're charging him to the game now, which is good. Got the phone still. The tie and the wind. Yep. Yeah, okay. We got coffee. My fifth cup of coffee this evening, burning hot. The dead don't sleep and neither can I. Let's go. <laughs> Minus dead points. Shout out Ben Chandler. Beautiful work here. Make it look like the other games got you, okay? <laughs> all right, so we have an inviting restaurant. We have a sign. This is going to be fun to find all the hot spots here. Horatio Street. We have bricks. Okay, the exposed bricks. The trash. The door. Awning. Uh, okay, Horatio Street goes the whole way here. All right, we'll take a look at everything first. Horatio Street, totally deserted. Okay. No parking from 8 p.m. to 6 a.m. A shame they don't have coffee to go. I'm running low. Just living off coffee. I feel that. Okay. The door isn't in terribly good shape, but it's solid enough to keep me out. It says Karth House, under all the graffiti anyway. This is where Durkin told us to meet him. Karth House? Just an old trash bag. Looks like it's been there for a while. Okay. We'll punch him. What do we have here? Some anarchy symbols. Reclaim, revolt, rebuke, reject, retaliate. Reclaim. Revolt. Rebuke. Reject. Retaliate. Okay. It's just a brick. It's just a brick. Are all of them just bricks? It's just a brick. Brick is a brick it's is a... It's just a brick. 
brick, is it? It's just a brick. Okay, they're bricks. Bricks confirmed. Oh, are there footprints? Oh, very cool. Just an old... <laughs> Let's check the trash. It's just full of old trash. Nothing useful. Looks like trash. Shame that. Oh, I wish. But I have a job to do here first. Okay, so we can't go in the restaurant. That's way too heavy to lift. Not to mention illegal. Okay, so that's off the table. The door? Locked, of course. Okay, so Joey obviously can, can pop can't in and out yet. of there. Not until we've investigated first. Is there anything else? Fire it's hydrant? A fire hydrant. Probably frozen solid. That's way too heavy to lift. Not to mention illegal. Okay. We've never done anything illegal in this game. Um, all right. Coffee. Well, things are frozen, right? So that's kind of a, an interesting... I don't have much coffee. I don't have... I don't know why don't we would much... need to... Melt. We can melt something with coffee, I'm sure. Um, what's in our phone? Durkin. Look at this update. This is kind of cool. Check our, our B-mail here. Hmm. Ms. Blackwell from J Leader here. I'm representing Hannah Sharp in her divorce trial. It's my understanding that you're aware of her husband's affair. Please contact me at your earliest convenience. Oh. It's not easy being a Sharp, apparently. Interesting. Seb. Are you the lady that I spoke to at Monray's last year? Looked you up. Spiritual consultant, really? I don't, I don't know what you did back then, but you better stay away from Columbia for a while. They caught you on the security camera poking around in Jamie's room. Signed, Seb. Oh, interesting. Mm. For all your networking and security needs, still contact Tomo. Let's go. Another one from Jay Leader. Ms. Blackwell, understood. Thank you for your time. Uh, we had sent back thanks. But I'd really prefer to not be involved. Sorry. Fair enough. We're good. Hey, something's come up that might be up your alley. Come meet me at the Karth House, corner of Horatio and Greenwich. 7 p.m. You can't miss it. The place is a wreck. The usual deal applies. I'll fill you in there. Signed, Sam Durkin. Okay. Got our, uh search back here our oogle oogle search what is this just notes okay so we're still combining things no surprise how could he call me out here and not show up that's just so unprofessional uh yeah well Durkin seems quite hands off let's be honest <laughs> quite hands off uh, in these games so far uh, the Karth House seems to be an old hotel that's been condemned for years. Detective Durkin asked us to meet here. As for why he didn't say, so far, he's a no-show. Uh, Detective Durkin helped us out with a case earlier this year. He doesn't know who we are, but he knows enough questions not to ask. He occasionally asks us to consult for him. Okay. Boop. All right. Uh, Joey, your turn to step up, pal. Not a soul in sight. Except mine, anyway. That place is open? Pretty optimistic of them. I don't see the point of that thing. If this dump caught fire, why bother saving it? Just old trash. Someone dumped it here and forgot about it. What do you want me to do? Blow on it? Maybe. Reclaim what? I'm not sure I quite get the message here. Okay, he's got some unique text then. It says revolt. Against what? Who can say? Rebuke what exactly? Stupid graffiti? Reject is the word. What an eyesore. Retaliate against what? If you gotta have a message, at least make it clear. Alright, it's time for Joey to enter the building. Alright, I'm going in. Try and stay warm. I'll do my best. Wow. Hmm. Hello? Anybody there? Anything? Not yet. Let me look around a bit. I'll get back to you. This is a cool little detail here. Do you see the paper? Wonder if it'll do it again. 
it's coated with all sorts yeah. of stuff. None of it nice. Little blowing of the paper is really cool. It leads to a stairwell. Seems like these were recorded in a couple different rooms. More painted junk. It's coated with all sorts of stuff. None of it nice. Okay, this goes it leads to a stairwell. To a stairwell. What doors do for the scrapyard? Okay, doors separate box. Full of food wrappers and old needles. Not much else. Even dead, I wouldn't want to risk putting my hand in there. <laughs> Backseat again. <laughs> that thing is barely holding itself together. It's the elevator. Seen one dilapidated elevator shaft. Seen them all. Okay. Kind of ramshackle. I guess security isn't this building's top priority. It's the elevator. I'm no electrician, but it looks like a fuse box. Nothing you can do with a fuse box, I'm sure. I can't touch it, but it's not like I know anything about fuses anyway. Okay. It's the way back outside. Let's check the notice, obviously, the thing that's uh, grabbing my attention. Getting way too hot here, but stay if you wanna. I left the key. Check the stairs. What am I supposed to do? Sing to it? Maybe sing the message. That'd be kind of fun. All right, let's have a peek. Stairwell over here. Whoa, this is crazy. Okay, there's no roof. I didn't realize that. Chunk of concrete. Jesus, what's holding this dump together? Rubber cement? Looks like a box of old electrical junk. Okay. Oh, hello. Huh? Hello? Hey, get back here. <laughs> uh... It's covered in graffiti and possibly locked, neither of which are a problem for me. We'll get up there in a moment. <laughs> uh, Bunch of junk fell here when the floor above collapsed. Any good junk? I couldn't even begin to move it. Okay. If it's all the same, I'll use the front door. Looks like a wrecking ball hit it. Come to think of it, that's probably what happened. Oh, this graffiti again, huh? People revolt. Oh, this one just says people. Is this the same order that it is outside, I wonder? Revolt or reclaim, retaliate, rebuke, reject. Hmm. Hey, Idiot. Idiot Nison. Welcome. Thanks for the good luck. Welcome, Ben. Yeah, there are a whole bunch of gift subs. I can't make it any further. I'm too far from Red. If I want to get up there, I need to get her closer. <laughs> Joey with the grunt there. Um, there was a bunch of gift subs on the uh, last stream there, so I bet you were caught in the midst of that. Okay, this is a nice uh, restroom. Whoever used this thing probably didn't care much for privacy. Anything uh, interesting? I'll leave toilet searching to the living. Newspaper. I just can't come to grips with it. This side of the newspaper just shows a bunch of ads. Nope, still a ghost. Still can't pick that up. An empty bottle. Looks like it used to be full of cheap booze. View? The view's pretty nice, but it's a shame about the rest of the place. Hmm. Anything new in the elevator shaft? Dark, cramped, yep, it's an elevator shaft, all right. Okay. Can we use the wind here on the newspaper to flip it over at all? Nothing. The paper's waterlogged and stuck to the floor. Okay. The note about it being like, oh, I can only see it from this side was kind of uh, something I'm I was questioning. Okay. It does seem like uh, we're gonna need Rosa to get in here somehow. Light switch. I just can't. Just a light switch. Okay. Hmm. Well, we definitely got a spook. We do. A woman. Only got a brief look at her before she buzzed off. Why didn't you go after her? 
She's too far away. We need to get you inside to bring her within range. Fine, let's hurry then. It's freezing out here. Locked, yeah. Of course. I mean, can we just like walk around the building? <laughs> Reclaim. It, it's, it's just a brick. Can we pour like the coffee on I here? I don't have much coffee left. I feel like we need to melt something with the coffee. Is this the same? So I, I did just take a quick, uh, took a screenshot of the other graffiti here. It is in a different order. So revolt is first, which is it's this just one. A brick. I don't know if there's a way it's to push it. It's revolt, it's reclaim, it's retaliate. This, but the ice around it is so thick, I can't pull it loose. Oh, what did you say? This brick is definitely hollow. But the ice around it is so thick, I can't pull it loose. Aha, there it is. Bingo. The cost of this coffee is so going on my expense report. There, it's melted. I better do whatever I need to do before it freezes again. Okay, retaliate. Key. Key on door. It fits. It worked. <laughs> brick, brick, yeah. Hmm. Nice place, huh? It has its charm, I guess. Yeah, it's got something all right. Come on, we have a spook to chat up. They prevent people from getting in, but that's about it. Whoever put these up probably didn't have insulation in mind. I really hope we get paid for this job. Otherwise, this could be our future home. Well, everyone already thinks you're crazy. Homeless is just the next obvious step. Thanks. Good old Joey. If I want to go outside, I'll use the door. I don't need to take it. I can just read it. Look at that mattress. You think people slept on that? The people who slept here weren't exactly spoiled for choice. Interesting. They just started talking about that. Okay. Check the stairs. Interesting that the key was out there, unless we need more. Another well, key. it's not like we're going anywhere. Was there just okay? They just talk to each other now. Interesting. I will never be that tired. It's covered in grime, dust, and is that blood? <laughs> Appropriate face. There's nothing behind it. It was just left here and forgotten. Okay. If that desk had drawers, they rotted off long ago. Just making sure we do our due diligence here. Light switch. Nothing. No surprise. Oh, interesting. Yeah. Well, that didn't work. The fuse looks like it shorted out. Okay. So is the puzzle perhaps getting... Yeah, because we're not going to be able to do this. <laughs> we're going to have to fix the elevator, I guess, huh? <laughs> you really needed that fuse. <laughs> Not going to happen. Check the box. Old cables, frayed wires, a fried circuit board. Hmm, there's an old fuse at the bottom of the pile. Looks intact. Call Joey. Oh, cool. Back. Even if I cleared it away, I couldn't climb the stairs. They're completely collapsed. Look at all this stuff. It must have all fallen from the floor above. Uh, okay. There's nothing in there. Thank God. <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, newspaper. Did she pick it up? No, it's updated. Drug raid. Okay. The City Post. Late City Final. Wednesday, December 12th, 2012. Weather on page 24. Drug raid reveals more than drugs. Police raided a Chelsea tenement last night and uncovered 10 pounds of heroin and $100,000 in cash. But what the police also uncovered is much more shocking. 
The tenement, condemned for years and exposed to the elements, was home to several drug dealers and transients who'd been living on the premises. They were half-starved, wearing rags, and freezing to death, but they didn't care, Officer Leah Pero, who led the raid, said. They were so far gone. The body of an unidentified woman was also discovered. She was just lying there, Piero went on to say, surrounded by a bunch of other addicts. None of them even seemed to notice. They probably would have joined her before too long. Okay, I think that is our ghost, I suppose. It's stuck to the floor. That's just as well. I probably don't need it. A bottle stuck to the floor, good gravy. Nothing. The elevator's dead. Okay. Okay, I guess we just need one... one of these to work, right? Joey, get over here. What is it? Look at the state of this place. You think it's safe? Dozens of homeless people were living here not too long ago. If it was safe for them, it should be safe for us. And by us, I obviously mean me. I guess what we'll do first is we'll we'll send Joey up now, because um, Rose is here. She looks pale and strung out. It's hard to place her age. Could be anywhere between 20 and 40. She's also shivering and scratching her arms. I know the dead can't feel the cold, but something is definitely giving her the shakes. Hmm. Plastic thing? View? I guess if you have to haunt a place, you can't beat a room with a view. Don't mind me, just passing through. Just a closed elevator. Dark, cramped, you Okay, just nothing new there, though. It's a piece of black plastic with a metal bit on the end. I have no <laughs> idea what it is. There's a reason why I keep my hands in my pocket. Okay, well, let's have a chat, shall we? Hello? Hey. Oh, you're not. Not what? Just not. Were you expecting someone else? Someone. Could you tell me who it was? Maybe I can help look for him. No, he'll be here. So I'm Joey. What's your name? I don't know. Mary? Your name is Mary? Sure. Look, this is no place to be during a blizzard. It's fine. It fits. Fits? Fits how? It fits. How about we get you out of here? Get you cleaned up? Maybe something to eat? No, I'm hidden now. Hidden? You're not hiding, you're right there. I'm hidden and I fit. It's how it should be. Mary, could you tell me the last thing you remember? How'd you end up here? I... I was here. And before that? The words... the... no, that's not... Not what? How it works. So how'd you end up in a dump like this? It's... a place. Yeah, it's a... Place, one that's fallen apart. You shouldn't be here. No place else to go. Can't go home. Depends where home is. Where are you from? Here, nowhere, in front, in back, doesn't matter. I fit here. So about this place? It's fine. It fits. Just a face here. One of many. If it fits, it ships. Are you familiar with a cop named Sam Durkin? He's a detective. Kin? Durkin? No, don't know. Durkin. <laughs> so I heard there was some police action here recently. What are you talking about? The cops. I heard they raided this place. Why would the police bother coming here? That's the whole point. What point would that be? Oh, forget it. Mm. So, about the cops coming here? I told you, I don't know what you're talking about. <sighs> Fair enough. So, Mary was it? Uh-huh. Mary who? Doesn't matter. I'm just Mary. So, Mary was it? Uh-huh. Mary who? Doesn't matter. I'm just Mary. Okay. I have to get going. Take care of yourself, Mary. Interesting. We blow on the plastic thing. We can't. Can't move it. In. 
Okay, that's curious then. So if we can move that out here, presumably. Look at the people moving around in the windows. That's so cool. Um, is she maybe attached to the... Hmm. All right. Attached to the, the syringe thing. All right, we have a fuse. It's a fuse. Let's, let's fuse box this sucker. So where, I guess it's... Good thing I'm wearing gloves. It's got to be down there, right? Something must have shorted. It's stuck in the on position. Something must... Something must... <laughs> the fuse... Something must have shorted, you think? Like, look at this thing. Oh, hello. Oh, hang on. Okay, floor four? Is she on floor four? We're on lobby. She's on three. It's an empty slot. The fuse. Something. Uh, Joey. Yes. Okay. Cool. Blow. Okay. What did that do exactly? We don't know. Well, we're gonna find out. All right. So that's maybe popped in here. Exit. Look. Let's look down the shaft here. I'd better not go in there. That elevator could collapse any minute. The elevator looks like it's stuck between two floors. Probably for the best. I'd better not go in. Anything changed with you? So uh huh. I have to get. All right. Good talk. Good talk. I guess. Oh wait. You know what's better is if I. Beckon. Joey, where? What? That's a nice little thing there. Uh, elevator shaft, please. Nothing I can really do in there. Oh. Hang on. If, the, if that's the elevator inside here. That means on the second floor. Joey. Maybe that thing is sitting on top of it. On the second what floor. What is it? I do want to chat with Joey. I like chatting with Joey. Let's, let's do this puzzle here first. Yes. Memory stick. They made it sound like it was like a, a syringe thing. It's definitely some kind of memory card. And it looks like it's compatible with my phone. Oh, convenient. One photo found. Hey, you find something? I think so. Take a look at this photo. Can ghosts do drugs? I don't know. Is this her? The ghost, I mean. Yeah, sorta. She looks a lot better in that photo, I'll tell you that much. Look at the file name. This was a headshot photo. I guess she was an actress. Could be. You wouldn't know it from looking at her. The spook upstairs looks like life chewed her up and spat her back out. Boop. That's... I have a question, Joey. You rang. I've seen pictures of condemned buildings, but I never thought I'd be in one. Well, you're here. I just hope you had all your shots. It's weird to think. This building's going to be knocked down once we're done. Once we clear out the spook, yeah. So next year, there could be a bank or a drugstore here or something. Could be. So let's enjoy these luxury surroundings while we can. Looks like people used to live here. Yeah. Whatever happened, they sure cleared out fast. Let's keep looking around. I don't want to spend more time here than I have to. Right behind you. That's a good enough, um... Can't say much for this building, but the view from here is something else. I'll take your word for it. I can barely look out there five seconds without the snow covering my glasses. Right, I forgot. You have to suck the romance out of everything. Just saying. Okay. Let's see if that... Uh, oh, you know what? We probably need... We need to identify this person. What do you suppose... Drugs must have taken... Oh, yikes. Not used to this, like, auto-conversation thing. I'm gonna, like, instinctively, uh... Click 
the Gotham Collective. No, I should, uh, I'm going to actually skip through that, I'm sure, too. Um, all right. My headshot, that JPEG. The Gotham Collective. The Gotham Collective. Into Oogle. City Theater Community Board it is with a heavy heart that we announce that the Gotham Collective Theater Company is closing its doors. It has been an absolute, our absolute pleasure to entertain you for the last four years. What a ride. For performance, or information on our past performances, please download this file. GC underscore cast and crew dot TXT. Downloading. Well, downloaded. Oh, there must be hundreds of names on this list. I'll never find what I'm looking for just by reading it. I'll just save a copy to my notes app. Hopefully I can find something to cross-reference it with. Okay. Cast and crew. Downloaded a file that contains a list of all the cast and crew members for every performance at the Gotham Collective put on. If Mary was a member of the Gotham Collective Theater Group, she's probably on this cast list. Right. Gotcha. There's only one Mary who was a cast member. Mary Meehan, who was a cast member of a play called The River Wall. Mary was a cast member in a production of The River Wall. The River Wall. Mary Meehan. All right. Let's uh, let's see what comes out of that. So, Mary? Uh-huh. So, Mary Meehan, was it? Uh-huh. Just checking. It doesn't matter. I'm just Mary. So, you're part of the Gotham Collective Theater Company? Not anymore. What happened? Nothing. Everything. <laughs> Very helpful. Yeah, it does seem like there's a good back and forth. I mean, Rosa and Joey, like, that's definitely been built uh, game by game. It's been so good. The list is on that phone. Okay. So I caught your show, The River Wall. Oh, God. What? Just don't. I, I just want to be a face, okay? No more. I just can't. Mm. So about the river wall. No. Why do this? Why? I'm not doing anything, dear. Just a fan. A fan. Sure. Mmm. I have to get going. Okay. Rosa, we need to look up the river. Is it river wall? The river wall. The river wall. The City Post Theater Desk, The River Wall. A review. You'd think one would be jaded after so many vanity projects by the Gotham Collective, but The River Wall, based on the 1923 short story, has finally taken it one step too far. Setting aside the non-existent direction and the lackluster set. Scrolling. Set design, both of which can be forgiven due to the low budget nature of the production, nothing can forgive the choice of casting Mary Meehan in the lead role of Pamela. Uh, displaying all the signs of an actress who took theater way too seriously in high school, she infuses her role with such over the top passion it becomes laughable rather than dramatic. Lacking any ambition or energy, I very quickly wished she would drown in the river alongside the play's titular wall, rating one star. Good gravy. I think I was nicer about the uh, the ranch dressing soda than this guy was about the river wall. Good gravy. Okay, so I mean that's a good enough reason. Mary was a cast member in a production of the River Wall. It was a good reason to to be upset about the river wall. Um, then come up for Mary Meehan literally just just this boy if i googled my name and it was just like the wolves is the worst streamer ever and, and go drown in a river i'd be pretty upset as well i think <laughs> um all right joey did you hear that so mary uh-huh so i read that yes, review of your show you you did yeah i'm sorry mary i thought i could get away from it Become just another face in the crowd. Is that something you really want? No, just needed to get away. It shouldn't have followed me here. 
Nobody should know me here. Surrounded by people who don't know me, it's good that way. Better that way. People? What people? These people. Lost people. Like me. Alone, but not alone. Mary, I hate to tell you this, but there's nobody here. What are you talking about? Look around. Carefully. There's nobody here but us. I don't see what you mean. Yes, you do. Nobody's been here for months, at least. How could... They left me? They wouldn't have just left me here, would they? Alone? I'm afraid they did, but you're not alone now. We're here. No, it can't be empty. That was the whole point. I can't be alone here. I can't. Hey, bye. Where is everyone? Hey, do you know where everyone is? They were taken away. This wasn't a good place for them. That didn't happen. That couldn't have happened. I would have remembered. I would have noticed. What did you notice, Mary? Huh? You weren't thinking too clearly before. You are now. Come on. Get away from me. I don't belong here. Not anymore. Oh, okay. Let's let's go. Let's hightail it. We got a runner. Are they runners at their ghosts? We got a floater. That doesn't sound nice They're either. Gone. Everyone. Yeah. I remember now. I was cold, then warm, then nothing. I feel absolutely nothing. That review, it seemed like it was everything. Now it's just nothing. To die over nothing. Should we, uh, should we chat Lady here? Joey. Let's hope she is. Okay. Good. Here we are. Um, Joey. Ty. I mean, anything else you want to say, Rosa? It's time to go, Mary. Go? How? Where? I can't seem to leave this place. Oh, we, we got you. Mary, I'm gonna have to ask you to take this. What is it? Just trust us, Mary. We're here to help. Okay. Boom, boom. Oh, she walked in. Is it right? Let's go. Is it right that this place should feel so good? It's where you need to be, Mary. That's all. I thought the Karth house was where I needed to be. After that review, maybe I would have been okay. Uh, I mean, yes. But like, I, I don't know, we don't need it. Are you good now? Let's not dwell on the past, you know? I don't think it matters. What matters is, are you okay now? Yes. I've never been so sure of anything before, but yes, I'm okay. Listen to me. I'm dead, but I'm okay. It's time to go, Mary. Yeah. Hi. Boop. You okay? I'm fine. Did I fall? No, you're still standing. Don't sound so surprised, Joey. <laughs> Good portrait. Mental control, that's all it takes. Yeah, sure. Let's get going. After you. <sighs> Hello? Durkin. Can I Say Durkin. Help you? No, not yet. Hey, wait! Durkin. It's me. Yeah. You need to send someone here right away. Someone's been shot. Shot? Who was it? What happened? I don't... <laughs> Hello? Blackwell, what's going on? <laughs> <laughs> um, sir? Hello? Are, are you... We're here to help. Don't worry. No, it's too late. We're not safe. Even... Grace is not safe. I'm sorry, friend, but whoever Grace is, you're past worrying about her now. No, you don't understand. You don't. You'd be surprised what we understand. You? No, the Bestower. I need the Bestower. Bestower? You, you rang. know about Bestowers? Uh, about us? I know enough, but not enough to save me. Well, it's your lucky day. We just happen to be in the saving business. You don't understand. They will find me. I hate to break it to you, but I think they already did. No. No. 
What? Holy... Did you see that? <laughs> what was it? What the hell was it? <laughs> Whoa! Credits. Hit it. Holy moly. Yeah, he died twice. Yeah, got was shot and then deleted from existence. So, I guess this is it. I believe so, my host. A tailor shop, huh? You think they've got anything in my size? A lost soul in need of saving, and you want to rob its place of business. Look at this dress I'm wearing. It's ruined. I figure I'm owed. Duty first, my host. Petty theft after. I'll see. Jocelyn. What? There's a lot of twists happening here. A lot of twists. Okay. Uh. Okay. Who are we right now? We're Jocelyn. Does she have to stare like that? It drives me batty. So the question is, what what year is it, right? Because we know that Madeline, I'm assuming that's canon, right? Because it must have been the only option to take in the last game. But we took her, like, away with us. So this could be present day, possibly. Although the, the car is suggesting that it's a little while back in the music and all that stuff. But I do wonder what the heck happened to her. That's an interesting hey, question. Madeline? Yes, my host. Could you stop calling me that? Stop calling you. Oh, did it say on the screen? I missed that. it. I'm no host. I am sorry, my host. That is what you are. <laughs> Makes sense. Okay. I was I think I was still reacting to the guy getting ripped in half where I was like, what is going on? I might have missed the uh, the text. It's rain in buckets. Indeed. Most fortuitous. Fortuitous. It enables us to do our duty unperceived. And we can converse without any awkwardness. Great. Wouldn't want this to be awkward. Just think, I could have been dancing at the supper club tonight. If those contortions could be referred to as dancing, then you are correct. I'm not gonna apologize, you know. For what? Trying to transfer our link to that Joe Gould fellow? Like I said, I ain't gonna apologize. I didn't ask for this. Neither did I, my host. Neither did I. You're not mad. After centuries of this existence, I have learned to put my personal feelings aside. Yeah, well, I ain't got centuries. Well, see ya. Certainly, my host. <laughs> see ya. All right. A tailor shop. Looks like it's been shut down for a while. Cool. A tailor. It's boarded up. No getting through there. It's covered with gunk. I can't see through it. Classic gunk. It's covered with gunk. I can't see through it. Uh. I really wanna, but Maddie will give me an earful if I leave now. Okay, nothing uh, in our inventory. My host, Jocelyn Contis. I have been her guide for two months. We cannot leave yet. We have a duty to fulfill. The window is boarded up and covered with dust. It is impossible to see through it. The front entrance, blocked by wooden planks. It appears to be some sort of haberdashery. <laughs> Alright, let's... Let's go through the wall here. If you could just wait here, my host. Uh-huh. It's not like I got anything else to do. Wow. Hello? Is anyone about? I am a friend. Nobody's there? Can we go? Sousa's is playing tonight. If we hurry, we can catch him. Patience, Susa. my host. I sense a lost spirit here. We cannot leave our duty unfinished. It appears to be a coat of some kind. It has been a long time since I have seen my reflection. Poster? Hmm. Oh, so garish. I cannot touch it. Some clothing items. Okay, looks like it's all the same thing. Bell. Right, right, right. Bullet holes? Oh my! Yeah, there's a... a this place got lit up here. Okay. A quiet night, despite the rain. I cannot touch the mirror. I believe these were caused by a pistol. I cannot touch them. 
Check the notice. The notice reads, please ring bell for service. It is a simple bell. I am incorporeal and unable to ring the bell. And you don't even, you can't even blow on things. What do you know? Locked. Ain't gonna budge. Which leave? I really wanna, but Maddie will give me an earful if I leave now. Hmm. Anything over here? Won't budge. Guess we keep pushing back. The room contains a few machines and piles of cloth. There is nothing else worth reporting. I cannot open the window. Hmm. What an interesting approach to this kind of like classic puzzle in this game. My host? Yeah. I know this transition has not been easy. Yeah, well, I always thought my uncle was cuckoo. At least now I know why. We made fun of him, you know? I am aware. It pained him greatly. Yeah, I guess now everyone's gonna make fun of me. So I got that to look forward to. Are you ready to take this seriously, my host? You don't think I'm serious? I think your head is in the clouds. Shows what you know. I think you've been dead too long. Dead too long? Whatever do you mean? I just want to live, you know? Is that so wrong? You appear living to me. I'm living for the dead. It's different. How so? It just is. I believe we should return to our duty, my host. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Whoa, there's a loose brick there. Okay, I didn't even see that before. Fun! Throw it through the window. Won't budge. Oh, I bet you it'll budge now. Look at that. This place is falling apart. We'll take the back door. My host. My host. Sorry, you say something? Certainly nothing that matters any longer. <laughs> Let's go. Gotta get a little bit of attitude, you know. Better not. If anybody comes in here, I don't want that thing in my hands. You crazy? I ain't picking up broken glass. Even if I did put it there. I have no idea how that got there, and nobody can prove otherwise. <laughs> it worked, didn't it? True. It's not even my size. A jacket from two seasons ago. I guess this place has been closed for a while. Ugh, stupid rain. I look horrible. I ain't lugging that home. Huh. Some kind of band. Danny and Linda Marconi? Never heard of them. Oh. Why would I want that? I've never even heard of those guys. Danny and Linda Marconi. Huh. Some kind of band. Danny and Linda Marconi? Never heard of them. Okay, okay, okay. No point. There's nothing my size. It says to ring the bell if I need help. Yeah, that was kind of like what I was thinking too, Raiden. I'm not really sure if that's a uh, you know, Countess origin story or something. I don't know. Danny? Danny, someone's out front. Danny, where the hell are you? Oh, what a twist. Sorry for the wait, ladies. My assistant seems to be out. What can I do for you? <laughs> okay. I guess, it, yeah, this is it, right? We gotta learn everything now, don't we? How long are you gonna stare at that thing? It's getting dark. Just one more. It has to be here. What are you doing, anyway? A man was murdered last night in the middle of a major blizzard. Believe me, I remember. Right. So how come nobody else has? Hey. I've been checking on every local news website all day. There's not a single mention of it. I called the police myself. We know they know about it. They must have suppressed the news, but why? I'm sure the cops got their reasons, and they can keep them. I don't care who plugged the guy. I only care about what happened after. I know. 
So, the victim didn't have any identification on him. I was hoping a news report would give us his name, but it looks like we're on our own. Well, something familiar at least. Let's go talk to our pet cop. Maybe he knows something. Okay, I did write down Grace. I was gonna say, I remembered the Grace thing. The ghost we saw last night said that Grace wasn't safe, and then he went. Yeah, Jocelyn Contest, which is remarkably similar to Countess, right? <laughs> Grace? What about your PhD? <laughs> Grace Nakamura. Auntie Lauren gave that bear to me when I was a kid. His name is Griff, the P.I. bear, although he's more the geriatric bear these days. Don't you talk to Griff like Sometimes that? Sometimes I think about taking Griff down, but he's so old these days. I'll just leave him. Some articles I wrote for the Village Eye newspaper. I hated working there and the paper's been dead for years, but for some reason I can't take them down. There's nothing in there. I go through much less paper since I gave up writing. I miss it sometimes, but I just can't seem to find the time anymore. It takes about an hour to boot up these days. An hour? I bought that clock at a tag sale years ago. It doesn't work, but for some reason I can't get rid of it. This is a cool change too, because we're at, normally we're here. Like we're, we're looking across the room like this. We're seeing it from the window now. It's pretty cool. From the kitchen side. I think it's a nice, nice change up. I stopped updating this calendar around the time Joey came into my life. There's probably a connection there. I've pretty much stopped updating that calendar, especially since I can download a hundred calendar apps on my phone. The last article I ever wrote, and the first ghost I ever saved. That's right. Oh, man. My parents' wedding. It's the only picture I have of them. They look so... young. <laughs> I love, like, kind of this art style, too, at the beginning. Auntie Lauren and me. This was just before all the troubles began. It's the intercom to the lobby. If anyone buzzes up, I can talk to them from here. Why, there's nobody on the other end. I've already read them, and I've got the digital copies anyway. Ooh, digital copies. Looks on notable New Yorkers, all deceased. Never hurts to be prepared. Books on boat maintenance and navigation. I'm not making <laughs> that mistake again. Very good. I've already read them. Grandmother Patricia, my dad, and Auntie Lauren. I never met my grandmother. I don't think she was ever prepared for, well, this. This article is about the Meltzer Foundation. I suppose they did some good in the end, but the death toll was too high. What happened to the Metz Meltzer Foundation? I don't know if we read this one. Reuters reports that Meltzer Foundation has closed its doors. The foundation was only recently the talk of the VC circuit. With their uncanny ability to pick winner after winner, it appears it appeared that they had the Midas touch. Through their efforts, they launched, launched several careers in the arts, film, and science fields. The reasons behind the closure remain a mystery as neither Paul nor his co-founder, brother Charles, could be reached for comment. It's Movie a poster, poster for the film Water Under the Bridge. It starred Frank Lyons. It's a picture of me and a former co-worker of mine. Jeremy was a friend, kind of. I never did get to know him well. Not when he was alive, anyway. <laughs> Most awkward picture. For months, I expected the police to come breaking down my door. But it's been a year and nothing. All right, so this is the last case. <laughs> Excuse me. Midtown double homicide still unsolved. What was noted philanthropist and charity worker Gavin Cord doing at the home of Lisa Tenzin, noted psychic and con woman? This is the question police have been asking themselves ever since they were both found dead inside Tenzin's home six months ago. Police investigations are continuing, but they ask anyone with further information, please contact Midtown South Precinct. Interesting thing to have framed on your wall. Um, this man's name is Danny yeah. Marconi. I only met him briefly as a very old man. 
Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. It's a gold tech mug. I have plenty of mugs in the kitchen if I really need one. Gold tech mug. I've had it for years and it's only slightly coffee stained. <laughs> sure. It's yeah. an empty <laughs> coffee mug. Why would I want to pick it up? Throughout the series, when you get Joey to look at clothing, he will often comment about how well or badly they're made. Oh, it all makes sense now. My old notepad. I went through dozens of these before I upgraded to this phone. The notepad's full, and even if it wasn't, I use my phone to take notes now. I'm no artist. I'll just leave it where it is. I'll just leave that where it is. What is it? A statuette? The seagull statue used to belong to Lisa Tenzin. Oh, interesting. These were Auntie Lauren's favorite brand. I don't remember much from back then, but the smell reminds me of her. <laughs> I don't act. Okay. I have plenty of money. Yeah, interesting. It's a portrait Trophies. of Joe Gould. It used to hang in the Mineta Tavern. That painting is almost 60 years old and was never taken care of much to begin with. I shouldn't move it. That's kind of cool. Okay. Very good. I can't go to bed yet. I have a full day ahead of me. Yeah, how did she or get that, rather, by the way? rather, a full night, but still. Um, alright. We gotta call Durkin. Now that we've done a little walk down memory lane. Durkin. There's no answer. Oh, okay. I guess we'll have to, um... Make our presence known. Thank God the coffee stands are still open. I think I'm really going to need them. It's your dime, sweetheart. <laughs> Coffee attic. What a cool background. Uh, home police station. There we go. Oh, it's you. Had a feeling you'd swing by. Oh. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> Could you imagine? Thought you'd come by. Just like, right now, actually, now that you said that, I'm at here. I'm here because I want to be, not because you want me to be here. The station looks empty. There's just one officer manning the desk. <laughs> Midtown South Precinct. Sam Durkin. I helped him with a case of his about a year ago, and then he helped me with one of mine. We've been paying each other back ever since. It's just a police car. There's nobody inside. Nobody. Is that it? We just got Durkin here? Okay. Detective? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. You found a Jane Doe at the Carth House, right? Yeah, what about it? Her name was Mary Meehan. She was an actress with the Gotham Collective Theater Company. You're sure about that? Yes. I won't ask how you know that, but we'll check out that name and see if you're right. At the very least, we can locate the family and tell them what happened. Thanks. I guess we owe you another one. Can we talk inside? It's freezing out here. Can't smoke inside, thanks to our friend the mayor. So you couldn't maybe, I don't know, not smoke for a while? Right. <laughs> Orin's like, yes. I caught the evening news today. There wasn't one mention of the murdered man in Chelsea. That program hasn't been the same since they replaced that blonde anchor woman. Nobody else talked about it either. Not online, not any other news program, nobody. You must have suppressed the news, why? Because we're the cops, that's why. Look, before we take this any further, why are you so interested in this one? What makes this murder more important than any other? Well, there's a variety of reasons. This is a pretty big one. This is another pretty big one. This is a good enough reason as well. He was looking for me was why I don't really know uh-huh did you know the guy no I didn't so how did you know he was looking for you wait let me guess yeah just do something like that something like <laughs> that ain't good enough what else you got uh just trust me he was killed right in front of me and what suddenly this makes it personal well kinda it might have something to do with me uh-huh and why is that why is this murder so important? You're the one who sent me there in the first Avoiding place. Avoiding the suspect that can't thing. be a coincidence. So, you think we sent this guy to your location to... What? Get killed in front of you? I don't know. That's why I'm asking you. You don't get to ask me anything. 
You need to tell me why this murder is so important. I was there. You know I was there. Surely I'm a suspect. You think I'm crazy? I made sure your name is nowhere near this thing. And unless you give me a good reason, it stays that way. So tell me, why is this murder so important? <laughs> Just trust me. You've trusted me before. Why can't you trust me again? Trust has nothing to do with it. Look, I don't know what your deal is. I've never asked, and frankly, I don't want to know. But I do know that you've helped me clear a few cases. And once in a while, in return, I answer some of your questions. That's fine. Quid pro quo. It's not in the rule book, but it's how we get things done. But this case, it goes way up. We can't bring in anyone from outside. Not without a good reason. So give me one. Why is this murder so important? Right, we're gonna have to get back to you, Durkin. I couldn't begin to explain it. It's more than just a murder, more horrible than just a killing. Uh-huh. Any details on what that could be? It needs to be stopped. That's all. Sorry. I know we got an arrangement, but my hands are tied. Fine. If that's the way it is. For what it's worth, it's nothing personal. You got other questions, I'm here. Just don't ask about this case. You get me? Yeah, I get you. Their coffee. Can we call Thurkin right here? <laughs> Are you going to answer that? <laughs> no. Right. <laughs> I probably shouldn't mess with the police car. Especially in front of a police officer. It's just a police car. Oh, that's funny. I like that they've like thought of that. Like, oh, you can answer that. <laughs> uh, anything else new here? Erkin. Undisclosed. Oh, yes, it's just. Uh... The ghost we saw last night said that Grace wasn't safe, and then he went. Is Grace? Is Grace an option? Detective? Uh huh. Yeah, okay. Grace. Could you tell me the victim's name at least? I told you, no. Does the name Grace mean anything to you? Nah, sorry. Well, see you around. Uh huh. Some coffee? He can get his own. You tell him, Rosa. And I've never been a big fan of teaming up with the cops, but Durkin seems all right. Whoever drives this thing is going to need a shovel to get anywhere. Can you go in? Keep our friend busy. I'm going to sniff around. I'm sure Rosa could have gone in, too. Not that I don't appreciate the company, but why the heck are you just standing there? <laughs> oh, um, I was just admiring <laughs> the brickwork. <laughs> the brickwork. Sure. When was this building built? Just a cop manning the front desk. That's so good. No At the bottom are the words Alex Silva, Commissioner. Oh. A modern gizmo. Probably some kind of phone. It usually is. Whatever. Whatever. Just admiring the brickwork. And what do we have here? Do do do. Aha. There's our guy. His name is George Austin, according to this note. Looks like he lived on the Upper West Side. Very officially written here. Do not talk to the press. Do do do. The plaque on the door says interrogation room B. Say? The plaque on the door. Okay. We pop in. Just a small interrogation room. It's empty. I'm not going to investigate every desk I see. I don't even know who this Disher person is. Disher? The name on this nameplate says Disher. I have no idea who that could be. It says Piero. I have no idea who that is. I'm not going to investigate. I don't even know who... <laughs> Just as I thought, it's an elevator shaft. Disher. Yarrow. Do, do, do. We'll check the other door, I guess. I mean, we got the big thing, which is the name. 
Just a small interrogation. Okay, empty. Pretty cool. I don't even know what that thing does. Isn't that what you're doing? I'm a cop. Why would I want that? What's your excuse? On this Looks paper. like some kind of duty roster. Nothing relevant. I'm, um, waiting for a cab. A water cooler in case the scorching hot weather gets too much for you. On a night like this, it might take a while. Maybe. <laughs> Can you just sit here and, like, let them, like, sweat it out, the two of them? Detective? Uh-huh. Well? Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> this guy was just be like, this is the strangest person I've ever met. The ghost we saw last night said that Grace wasn't safe, and then he went. Yeah, but her name is Grace Austin. I mean, we know this now. Okay, fine. Detective? Uh -huh. no, no. I know the victim's name is George Austin. Yeah, yeah, this crap doesn't impress me anymore. And even if it did, you're not a cop. You're not even officially on the books. So? Make it unofficial. You've done it before. Not this time. Sorry. With all due respect, you need to back off. Does the name... Nah. About George Austin. How many times? Sorry. Alright, well, we have the address, right? Well, see... Uh-huh. Let's get out of here. I thought you were waiting for a cab. <laughs> hey, bye. This is some lobby. Careful you don't break anything, we'll be in hock for life. Well, your life anyway, not mine. <laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> that vase looks more expensive than everything in my apartment put together. I don't recognize the artist, but it looks peaceful enough. Back out to the snowy streets. He's watching my every move. Look at the shadow, like the reflection. It's not even shadow, it's a reflection. Miss? I'm sorry, but you can't go back there. Residence only. Oh, sorry. Hi. Yes, miss? I'm looking for George Austin. Is he in? No, he's not. Sorry. Is there any way I can look inside George's apartment? It's really important. Sorry. Unless you've been authorized, I can't let you in. Do you know where George Austin is? I really couldn't say. Sorry. Does the name Grace mean anything to you? Sorry. Nobody named Grace lives here. Grace Nakamura? Perhaps? Alright. Oh, you know one thing I need to do while I'm thinking about it, because I'll forget. Google Grace Austin. Isn't that how we spell it? O S T I N. O S T I N, yeah. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. There's a reason why. Alright, off we go. Smart uniform, clean cut, seems dedicated to his job. We ain't sneaking past this guy. Hopefully we won't have to. Don't know what I can... Look in the box. Looks like it's full of old clothes. Okay. Like Give me just a second. I'm going to add that... Holiday Clothing Drive. It's a cold... Uh, it is... It's cold this winter. Jeez. Weird space between the T and the S. Um... Please leave your old clothes in the box below for people less fortunate than you. George Austin. Apartment 12A. Okay. It says holiday clothing drive. It's signed by... Okay. We have his... We have his number now. Wow. Yep, it's an elevator, all right. Hi. Yes, miss? Is there any way I can leave? Sorry. Look at that one we did. I, uh, heard that George Austin was having a clothing drive here. Oh, yes. George does it every year. He brings the box to Grace himself. Didn't he just say there's, like, never heard of anybody named Grace? K. 
Can you tell me anything else about the clothing drive? No, but if you have any old clothes, feel free to give them to me. I'll put them in the box. Better not. If you did that, you wouldn't have any clothes left. Do you know where George Austin is? I really couldn't say. Sorry. Do you know where- I really- You said that George takes the clothes to Grace. Yes, he does. He has an attachment to the place, even though we've got a fine church in this area. Church? So by Grace, you meant Grace Church? Yeah, the one downtown. What did you think I meant? Nothing. Never mind. Thanks. Sure. Okay, Grace Church, huh? Why did George go to Grace Church instead of a local one? I couldn't say. Sorry. It's a very intense portrait. <laughs> very intense. Okay, to the church. Just cooking right along huh, here. A church of all the places. Really? Ghosts don't like churches? Being a ghost has nothing to do with it. Just like trust has nothing to do with it. Weekend Organ Meditations. It says Grace Church in New York, Episcopal, Reverend Gabriel Ullman Rector. He keeps glancing up at the church. It says Grace Church. Of course, we knew that already. Of course, but of course. It says Grace Church. They really need a sign of... I wish she'd get a move on. It's a schedule of services. Nothing is going on at the moment. Yeah, there's scrolling going on here. Door, door. Oh, okay, we went in. Joey already inside. He looks pretty deep in thought. It's a book full of handwritten prayers. Okay. Um, organ. Is that really all that's in here, huh? So we have the organ, the book, the priest. This book is full of prayers written by the church's congregation. They're all anonymous and they're all written by hand. Okay. We kind of know his handwriting, I guess. Very low res. Please God let the chemo work. I don't know what I'll do without her. That's sad. I uh, have six months without a drink. Please help me another six. Let my uncle get exactly what he deserves. Good gravy, okay. I don't know what to do. I am so lost. If you're out there, please help. This is closer. It's kind of like a cursive thing here. This might be it. Please help my family through this horrible time. <laughs> We've already been through so much. Is there light at the end of this tunnel? Is darkness all there is? Hmm. Is suicide the only answer? I don't really want to die. Let me find another way. I love him. Does he love me? Please let my father wake up so I can tell him I'm sorry. Good gravy, people. If my son is with you, God, tell him I love and miss him, and his baby daughter will want or not. I want to always be as happy as this. I lost my job. It's all my fault. What do I tell my wife? What do I do? This is an interesting font. These prayers just go on and on. There must be dozens of them. I don't have time to read them all. Well, hopefully the ones that we're looking at are good enough, huh? Morgan? Uh, I better not, especially with that priest in plain view. I don't know much about church organs, but it seems nice enough. Hi, could I talk to you for a minute? Please keep your voice down. Oh, um, sorry. Is this better? Yes. What can I do for you? I'm Rosangela Blackwell. Father Gabriel Ullman. Gabriel, huh? What do you know about this book? Could you tell me about that book over there? For some, silent prayer isn't enough. They want to write it down and make it real. That is what that book is for. It's pretty quiet here tonight. God's house remains open despite the weather. If anybody needs us, we are here. Why the whispers? There isn't anybody around. That makes no difference. 
the tranquility of this place must be maintained, whether anybody is here or not, especially on a night like tonight. Do you know a man named George Austin? I'm afraid not. He was a member of this church, are you sure? It is quite a large church, as you can see. I'm afraid I am not familiar with George Austin. Could you tell me about this church? Are you looking to join? Um, not really. I'm afraid now is not the time for a history lesson. George Austin was holding a clothing drive that brought clothes to this church. Are you sure you haven't heard of him? Yes, we deal with hundreds of clothing drives at this time of year. Some we arrange ourselves, while most are volunteers. It is not possible to keep track of every single one. Hmm. Well, thanks. I'll be going. Stay safe. This is not a night to be outside. What does that mean? He's leaning forward and his eyes are closed. He's either praying or sleeping. Did you blow on him? No reaction. Probably feels drafts all the time in a joint like this. I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't. <laughs> he can't. He just can't. Um. You. I'm not just gonna. My days of tinkling ivories are long gone. Fancy joint like this, I'd expect something with a bit more gravitas. Would you like a coffee? He can get his own. Oh, Rosa! Grace Church. Grace Church is a historic parish church in Manhattan, New York City, which is part of the Episcopal Dia whatever of New York. Grace Church is a national historic landmark designated for architectural significance and place within the history of New York City. Rector Gabriel Olvin. He's an alumni of the New York Theological Seminary. 89 to 93, class 93, currently based at Grace Church. Uh, huh. Um, hi again. Yes. Okay, that doesn't really, uh... Could you tell me about this church? Are you looking... Um... I'm afraid... Yeah, okay, same deal. Well, th st can't combine these, right? The Grace George was referring to has to be Grace Church. Okay, that was not helpful. <laughs> Dark did. Sure we can take a There's phone no call answer. in here, right? <laughs> okay. I guess we don't really have much to do out here. Is this a different door, or does this go in the same spot? That's probably something I should figure out. All the doors fit to print here. Deoces. Okay. Very good. Learning. Oh, again. Detective? Uh-huh. About George Austin. How am Sorry. Oops. That's... Have you ever been to Grace Church for any reason? Church? No, I haven't. Why? No reason. Forget it. Well... Uh-huh. <laughs> that was it. I just happened to be in the neighborhood. Just gonna ask me if you've ever been to this church. No reason. <laughs> Yes, miss. Uh, hello again. Can you tell me anything else about the clothing drive? No, but if you have any old clothes, feel free to give them to me. I'll put them in the box. Better not. If you did that, you wouldn't have any clothes left.
Can you tell me anything about George? I really couldn't, sorry. If you want to know him, you should ask him yourself. It's gonna be tough. It's gonna be tough to do. Boy, if I... Took a screenshot. Of the note here, that way I can kind of compare the text here. Maybe we can kind of maybe there's a hint, I guess, in in the, the prayer book. There's not really much happening here. We know that he's in apartment twelve A. Joey, I interrupted you. If any of I need to narrow it down somehow. Go ahead, what'd you say? If any of these handwritten prayers are useful, flipping through blindly isn't the answer. I need to narrow it down somehow. This looks like the one here. Although this is not a very helpful, <laughs> not a very helpful entry. But that's definitely the right font here. Just looking at, uh, at the situation, like I can show you what I'm looking at here. Okay, that black screen is supposed to be what I'm looking at. Okay, well, whatever. There it is. You can kind of see a little bit there that it's sort of a similar situation to this right one. Um, yeah. Well, stay, stay safe. Austin, not on there either. Um, there's only one thing I can think of right now. Did I try? I'm gonna get the angry, the angry Joey here, I think. But have we tried blowing this note off the wall? We have not. Perfect. And I was like, maybe we just need to compare it, because the hitbox, unfortunately. Oh, I can't. I gotta be careful what I'm clicking here. Better not do that again. The door guy might notice. Um, dropped my pen. <laughs> the portraits are so good in this one. Hey, Lemming. I'm just not, like, expecting, uh, 
like a line of dialogue every time I enter somewhere anymore. So like when it pops up, it's sometimes kind of like shocking. I gotta slow my roll here a little bit. All right, if I do this it's note- It's a handwritten note from George Austin, asking the residents of his building to donate old clothes to charity. I'm sure they won't miss it. <laughs> I'm sure they won't. It says, Hawk, it's signed. You already know what it says. Note against book. With this sample of George's handwriting, I might be able to find something written by him. I hope so. Gotcha. Oh, it was a totally different one. Leah. Yeah. Okay. This place always brought me and Leah solace. Despite everything, it still does. Is this really what I must do? It seems impossible. I am finding my faith is shaken to its very core. Please help me find the strength to fight this battle. If not for me, then for Leah and the others. I don't need to turn to any other page. I don't need to turn to... Oh, I'm, you're good. Don't worry about it. <laughs> um, hi again. Yes. Yes. Yeah, more indie on Saturday. I'm excited. It's a team's run, a team run, and it can get upgraded to a max IQ team run um, with donations. So pretty exciting. Leah. In a prayer written by George, he hoped to save himself and somebody named Leah. Do you know a woman named Leah? I think she was a member of this church. Even if she was, I'm afraid the name eludes me. I'm sorry. This guy is so helpful. Well, thanks. I'll be going. Stay safe. Very helpful. Leah's name was mentioned in George's prayer at Grace Church. Was she a member? George wrote Leah's name down in a prayer. Whatever kind of relationship they have, he must care for her a lot. Okay, so that didn't update anything, unfortunately, did it? You could try. I mean, maybe they're they're related. Okay, I had to try. All right, let's hit the road, Jack. Three AM. You're yeah. No, that's that is totally fair. And anybody who can't watch it, and you're like, oh, I wish I could watch it. There's gonna be a vod up for it, so um, no, uh, no worries. Don't sweat it. Yeah. Speaking of three AM. Oh yeah, it's pretty late here as well. Oh boy. Hi. Yes, Miss. Leah. Did George know anyone named Leah? Leah. You mean the police officer? Police officer? Yeah. Ooh. Haven't seen her around for a while, though. Did they break up or something? I have no idea. Too bad, if so. I liked her. She was good for George. Okay, Leah is a cop. You said Leah was good for George. Could you tell me why? Uh, yeah, I probably shouldn't have said any of that. You're not a cop or anything yourself, are you? Well... No, you're not. You would have shown me your badge if you were. Forget it. Sorry. <laughs> Okay. We can buy these. George wrote Leah's name down in a prayer. Leah is a cop. There's no answer. Let's go. Let's go talk to Dirk indirectly here. We'll take it to the Dirk. Is there a spot to watch your runs and cheer you on? Yeah, so it's it's a pretty small, um, like compared to like say GDQ or something marathon, but it's like a, um, yeah, just like a similar to, to GDQ from ESA in the past. If you've probably been to any of those other ones, they're usually like big hotel spaces that are rented out and converted. So it's, um, yeah, they've the last time I was there was like a year or two ago. And they had a, um, they've got kind of a setup with a couple computers in the front. There's some seats behind it. 
And then the room extends further back, and I think they have like a games, um, like folks playing board games and stuff in the back. It's a kind of very cozy setup, which is good. Detective? Uh-huh. So, George Austin was involved with a police officer named Leah. That's it, isn't it? <laughs> All the secrecy. It's because the police are involved. You want to get us both in trouble? Of course not. I want to help you. Look what I discovered already. Look, I keep my distance from you for a reason. I know you got your sources. I don't know who they are, but you have a way. That goes without saying. Leah Piero was, is, a Era. prime detective. Don't let anyone tell you otherwise. Maybe you can help, maybe you can't. But I know you're gonna stick your nose in no matter what I say. Sorry, but I have to. Yeah, I get that. I can't stop you, but I can't help you either. You're on your own. Believe me, detective. If there's anything I'm not, it's on my own. Well, just be careful. Okay, so that's Piero then. Can you tell me anything about Officer Piero? I told you, I can't help you on this one. Sorry. Okay. Well, see you around. Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> Good taxpayer money here. This thing with you standing around is getting kind of weird. <laughs> ah, so good. All right, so that's Piero. It says then. Piero. Huh. This must be Leah Piero's desk. All right, let's have a look, shall we? Will you look at this one now? This folder seems to be full of old expense reports. Too many to go through, even if I could open it. Yep, this is Leah Piero's desk, all right. The journal is labeled Midtown Jaywalking Citations 2001 to 2004. Interesting light reading. Yeah, that's weird, huh? I can't open it. Oh, sorry, I left clicked, Joey. Give me a break. Okay. Hopeful. In a story, all right, shout out Queens. I assume it's a telephone, although it's hard to tell these days. It's one of those computer things. Looks like it's powered down. Good old computer oh, things. Cute kid. Okay, we've got the address. That's probably what we need, right? Uh. Okay, bye. Hey. I don't know where you're going, and I ain't gonna ask. Just don't step on any toes, okay? We cops can get pretty touchy when it concerns one of our own. Yeah, so do I. What did you mean by that? I was going to say. Exactly what it sounded like. Whoever George was, he was one of us. Us? Yeah. Come on. It's a long way to Astoria. <laughs> oh, I'm glad that Joey was thinking the same thing I was. This is a fine answer from Rosa, but I was also like, what? What are you doing? It's, um, Leah Piero. So, this is what a cop's salary gets you, huh? A two-story in Astoria. It's not bad. Nicer than some of the foster homes I grew up in. Anyway, shall we? Yeah, yeah, we both know the drill by now. Oh. I think... I'm having a look at the time. I think I might put a pin in it. I really want to keep going. But I should get some sleep, because I have a pretty long one tomorrow. So let's do it. We'll save hundredth cup of coffee. Will that take? Yeah. 